three large white keys or pearls. All right. And we're going to start, we're always going to start at the top. With, so we're going to start with our top finger, our index finger. Okay. Middle finger, ring finger. We're going to leave the little one alone. All right. We don't need that for now. Okay. So we want finger one, two, three. Top, middle, bottom. You, I just want your fingers resting over those notes. Okay. All right. And the same down here. Can you see we have three keys down here? Top, middle, bottom. One, two, three. Index finger, middle finger, ring finger. All right. When you get married, apparently you have a ring finger. All right. I lost my ring a few years back. Right? I don't know where, I don't know how. So that's why I'm not wearing a ring. All right. But I am married. All right. And so anyway, I digress. All right. So one, two, three. Top, middle, bottom. I'm going to call this home position. All right, when you get your fingers over those notes, you're in home position, all right? We're not really pressing anything, but you've got your fingers over them right now, all right? The reason why I just want you to have just the body, I don't want you to be distracted by the neck and the mouthpiece. So if you have it on, please take that off, all right? There's a good reason. When you're just getting started, I need you to get to a place where you can just feel these notes, all right? But right now, while it's like this, you may need to look at where your fingers go. So you can just bring it over towards your left shoulder and you can kind of look where your fingers need to go. As I introduce a few more notes to you, you may need to look at where your fingers go, right? The problem is if you have this attached, all right, and you just look, you're gonna start to hit this on your shoulder or on something behind. And that's an easy way to break your reed, all right? So my rule is, in the getting started lesson, which is we're only we're not even playing the two things together yet, all right, you can look as much as you want while it's like this, all right? But when it's time to put this on, okay, for lesson one, then the looking should be all done with. You should just be able to feel your way around all these notes, all right? Have, um, so I've talked about here, there's an important note saying switch firmly or switch simultaneously. This is a crucial error. You do not want to take your finger off C momentarily while you press the B down. Okay, that is so, so important. All right, because, you know, this by itself is another note. All right, we'll get to in the next lesson. All right, so as the C comes up, the B must go down. Otherwise, you're not going from C to B. Even so, even for a split second, if I'm off both of them, I'm neither on C nor B. All right, so it's just like a light switch. As this one comes up, that one must go down. I can't emphasize that enough, people. All right, you know, um, everything is about the timing. Okay, so. You know, you just got to get used to, can you see that really clearly? Simon, zoom in on that for me. All right, as my, as my B comes up, my C goes down. All right, C, B, C, B. All right, because I truly want to go from C to B. I don't want to do this. You see the difference? In for a split second, you know, no, it's got to be this. C, B, C, B, all right? And another thing that I found over the years is whatever, as we're going through this, don't take whatever note we finish on, stay on that note. Don't reset to this as default, all right, by taking your hands off. So now that we're on C, stay on C, all right, we go to B. And then from the next note, you see, we don't want to take our hands off all the time. You know, people get into the habit of, you know, playing a note, then taking the hands off. You, you know, this is a separate note and we want to stay on the note that we're actually working on and go. So, I know I labored that point, but it's really, really important, guys. Now, I'll try and pick you up on it and remind you a few times. So anyway, here's C and B, okay? So I think you probably already memorized these notes. Simon, do you, have you memorized these notes by now? I've pretty much memorized uh, these notes by now. All right, C, B, I think we're good to go. Okay, so we're on B, it's B2. Right, this is a unique note coming up. We're going to call it it's B flat, okay? There's a few different ways you can play B flat, but I'm just going to teach you um, the one which I think you'll be using the most, okay? And